The following is a selected video from yourteacher.com where you can browse over 450 complete math lessons with example videos, interactive practice problems, self-tests, and more. Try a complete lesson today at yourteacher.com. In this example, we're asked to state whether or not the following pairs of triangles must be congruent. And if so, state the triangle congruence and name the postulate that is used. In part A, we have two pairs of angles that are marked as congruent. And also notice that these triangles share a side, so we can mark the side as congruent to itself. Notice that the side is not included between the two angles in each triangle. So we say that these triangles are congruent by angle, angle, side. Writing our congruent statement, we have triangle WXZ congruent to triangle YXZ by angle, angle, side. In part B, notice that we have a pair of right triangles, and the hypotenuse and leg of one triangle are congruent to the hypotenuse and leg of the second triangle. So these triangles are congruent by hypotenuse leg. Writing our congruent statement, we say that triangle PQR is congruent to triangle UTS. by hypotenuse leg. In part C, notice that we have a pair of sides that are marked as congruent and a pair of angles that are marked as congruent, so we need a third pair of congruent parts. Notice that since side AB is congruent to side AE, the large triangle ABE is an isosceles triangle. Remember that the isosceles triangle theorem states that if two sides of a triangle are congruent, then the angles opposite those sides are congruent. So we know that angle B is congruent to angle E. Note that we now have two angles and the included side of one triangle congruent to two angles and the included side of a second triangle. So these triangles are congruent by angle side angle. Writing our congruent statement, we have triangle ABC congruent to triangle AED by angle, side, angle. 